thank you for your invitation. And, uh, my speak today is about another perspective for governance and also quality management. It's, I, I'm talking about design, more precisely design management. I'm, I'm a publisher for the last 13 years and about project management. And then in the last couple of years, um, we felt that complexity in project environments is too hard to deal. And then we need to have another kind of approach to solving problems. And that's why you cope a kind of design management perspective for solving problems. And this kind of approach, I believe that is, it's possible to solve in some kind of problem in quality management, also governance or something like that. Uh, today I, I'm talking about design collaborative team because it's a, a kind of governance capability that you can build uh, in your collaboration way. Let me see if it works. Okay. So, uh, we talk about some kind of problem solving approach for governance, or more precisely, some aspect of the quality. Uh, which kind of qua uh, capabilities? Dynamic capabilities, network based services, or even more design collaboration, design teamwork, and also quality management and compliance clusters. Uh, we believe that if you have some kind of network based service or network team work in collaboration, it's a kind of improvement in digital age for bringing people together in our problem dynamically. And then you have some extending competence for dealing its kind of problem that emerge from project in the project timeline or some kind of the initiative in your companies. Maybe oh. yeah, does it work? No. You have some animation then. Mm. Okay, you can go until the yeah. So if you see if we network collaboration, I, we can have some kind of features like on-demand on expertise allocation. You can have data-driven relationship. Uh, you can have a cluster of competence in a network collaboration way. Uh, it's much more dynamic perspective for bringing competence in a dynamic way. Also, if you have some kind of practices like design thinking and apply some design practices, we can have some issue-based strategy. I mean, many, many kinds of the pen in, pen in kind of industry, some issues, uh, we, can, we need to handle it uh, more focus on the problem because the complexity situation is demanding us uh, much more competence and specialized competence, expertise. Then, if you have some kind of perspective like intern and extern knowledge exchange, not just inside in your company or your team or your department, we need, we need to have some more broad kind of relationship and collaboration from outside perspective and then you have much more power in your decision making. So design management is a kind of approach that you can try to solve this complex problem uh, because this approach is much more dynamic and 
user-centric. Uh, and also, by design management, we have some kind of systematic transformation culture. I mean, uh, in digital age, transformation is quite constantly. And then we need some kind of approach to, to, trans to, to systematic transformation absorb observation. Next, please. So, and if you if we create a collaboration cluster for governance perspective, we can have some kind of expert second opinion and a keyword collaboration, uh, specifically for some kind of expertise in quality management or uh, a data-driven data decision. Even, even so, you can have some kind of design frameworks, more adaptive models. Because if you have some traditional approach for solving complex problems, it doesn't work. We need more flexible way to understand the pain, to understand the issue, and more precisely the context. The context problem is mo much more important than traditional way. And also, if, you, if we have some kind of cloud service, like a, you know, you have an, a new kind of space for have an experience about your problem. It's, it's a kind of, it's not official space that you try to solve in the problem. You have some spare space outside of company or, you know, on the cloud or virtual meetings or something like that. And then you can try to fix there, oh, it works, and then bring it for the operational way. Next, please. Then we go, go to the... We have here some framework for design in action. It's, uh, it's from uh, Bridge University. Uh, then you have some activities in design, internal and, internal and external environment. And then this is a, a knowledge uh, exchange horizont a line threshold here. And then you have some steps, steps, steps about design activities. Go, go for it, please. Here, the first step is about scoping, discover. Uh, this stage is about to understand the problem, understand which kind of uh, issue you have, and then you can to, you know, try to understand better the problem. When you try to understand the problem much, much more from user's perspective, you can to improve the quality of your product because you know the pain of the user. Then it's much, much more precise have a solution for that if you have some this kind of perspective solution. Not, there, not just by data-driven. Data -driven. The driven it's one perspective. That's that's another one. And in each kind of this stage, we have some kind of challenging or objective. In this second stage, is framing interpretation of the problem in much, much, much many many times we have. We discovered that the problem is not exactly what the user is saying. We reframe this problem because we understand that it's more environment problem, it's more uh, uh, complex situation. And then we have better decision. The third stage is about ideation. We have some concept generating. Many, many kind of ideas come for to solving this problem and then you uh, take the better one for to go forward. 
And then we have some kind of formation of business modeling, prototyping, prototyping, and, and then do you learning after your prototyping, and then you you building some kind of business model for this kind of problem. Also, in the final stage, we have some evolution uh, market feedback. You try to to put your product in the marketplace and then you're getting some information but you don't put the last version of product you put the MVP and also you increment some features and then you're learning and put more and more features until you solve the whole problem that's the perspective about uh, perspective analysis design centric you have the product in the center user around organization in society and you try to understand the influence and impact from your product to these uh, communities and people and then you move from human center to more systematic design you have more broad vision about the problem and then you can to to have more quality for solutions Next, please. So, we we'll go over here a little bit. Uh, this is just to, s to see that that is a framework a little bit more. Okay, go for it. It's just to understand that the process, we start by an uh, issue and then go through the all stage here and then you have, next please. We have some analysis here reports during the phase about innovation or about quality, about indicators, um, key performance indicators or, or whatever you prefer to do. And then the next, please. Next, next. We have some kind of the he works. Next, please. And you have, in the end of the, the stage, you have some lessons learned. And then, after this kind of dynamic situation, design sync situation, we, we have some kind of lear lessons learned. And also, you can uh, back to the early stage and learning and apply again. Well, yeah, that's the, the view about the framework, this blue square. And uh, we have more powerful solution and also quality when you mix design management and collaboration. It's more precisely when you have collaboration from inside collaborative team and also outside collaborative team, from academia, from practitioners from peer review or something like that. Then this kind of situation, you have more problem solving approach for better quality results. And then you have some get the thing done and this kind of features here, solving problem, we have strategic motivation. Because when people see the problem solved, they get motivated to continue to get better. And then you have a circle, virtual circles here. It's good for quality management approach. Next, please. Next. So go, go for it. It's just to see another perspective from the same framework. We have here much kind of situation, uh, dynamic uh, cycle by different teams, inside and outside team partners, experts. And then you do this framework until you have some kind of shared uh, experience or even you can on-demand competence bring Go for it, please.
it's another perspective here because when you try to to implement this pilot project in some companies we have some restriction from the companies about security of information and then you we try to use emerging technology like blockchain blockchain technology have some security transaction peer to peer and also can uh, transfer asset not just making copy but transfer the asset like like digital coin digital coin you can to make a copy and then transfer in the internet uh, because you, you don't transfer money you need to to give the money for the other person and then this kind of competence when do you have some kind of solution solve it you can transfer this case for some company or like, like a lessons learned is something like that. Also, you can use like a library of the cases, solve it, and a kind of lessons learned. And then you prove your next issue entrance. So it's a kind of, you know, more digital solutions for approach complex problem. Next, please. Then you have some kind of dynamic capabilities. Uh, many kind of dynamics is strategic. Né? Uh, design research, design combinative, design learning, innovation, strategy, strategic, and <coughs> governance. Governance is a good approach for this kind of solutions because uh, we demanding many expertise, different expertise for analyze the needs and the results. We need to have many kind of expertise. And then uh, it's important to have a collaboration from people outside of your company. You have some kind of advisory from external person from academia or from whatever other practitioners in, in a global context. Then you have much more uh, assistance in your problem solving approach. Okay, next please. Then you, you is, use some kind of uh, systematic approach for design structure matrix. Uh, to just to map independence uh, for our product and process organizational structure. We have uh, two kind of analysis here, static and temporal, for a cluster analysis and process sequence analysis. In this framework, before I said. So, uh, we try to develop uh, solutions. That's an app for a mobile phone. Uh, that's try to. That's the MVP version of the app. It's uh, starting uh, a kind of solutions for that framework, implementing that framework, where you have some people around you, uh, your collaborative team. And then, when you have some kind of issue, we create an issue in the app and share this issue for specifically keywords problem. And then we have people get around you trying to solve it together with you your problem. This is a more dynamic situation for you know digital wage and collaboration. Uh, work. This is an example how to apply this kind of solution. You have a project, project timeline, and then you have some issues raised up, and then uh, each kind of issue is related to personal, personal issue, or about competence, teamwork, or even company or community. Then we live in traditional model. You 
depending from local resource limited. How, how to get more resource? You need to migrate for a collaboration model. You have some kind of coordination and cooperation coming from cloud services. And then you have some bridging the gap between your local competence by global competence. And then you have, we developed this app for to, oh, you register your issue, tag these issues by keywords, and then we share the issue with your collaborative team inside or outside of the company, and then you can have some kind of cloud service for collaboration in your company. That's approach for project management solution in complex environment. So, thank you. That's all. <laughs>